Look at Mr. One to escape over here. Clown Loach? Yeah. Look how big they got, dude. Incredible. Oh my god. Going in. That's perfect. I mean, that is insane. Look at Mr. One to escape over here. You're the first one that's gonna go in. Hey, little buddy. So we got him from the house, and as you can see, that's the same exact turtle right there. That one's just smaller. There's yellow bellies in here. There's a soft shell in here. There's an albino red ear slider in here. There's all sorts of little turtles, mostly small. We have one more turtle to put in here. Wow, my hair is actually insane. All right, everyone, drop a comment down below what we should name this fella. There's the patterns. Hopefully, we name it something to do oh. with a little hole on his belly. Yep, it's actually oh. all healed. Yeah, that's it's cool, but something to do with the hole for sure. Yeah. Anyway, here you go, buddy. He's the shy one. The other one just, what the heck was that? All right, I'm just going to put him in. Watch him take off. Ready? There he goes. So long, brother. I put a lot of work into this thing. All the rocks, the lamp, everything. I made a custom stand for the lamp, put weeds on it. I mean, all this has to come to the new house, though. So, yeah, we got a lot of work to do to get all this stuff over to the new house. But that one's probably going to be one of the last things I moved just because there's a lot to it. All right, I got like the Elvis flow going, but just had to get the hair down. This right here is the 90 gallon tank. As you can see, the fish are just going crazy right now. Uh, we got the angelfish, the clown loaches, the iridescent catfish. Everything's coming. I put about four inches of water in this big bin that we're gonna tie down to the back of my truck. Christian, there you go, Nick's brother, gave me these. Look how big they got now. Massive, absolutely huge. And it's only gonna get bigger when it goes into 160 gallon. This is a 90 gallon. They're almost doubling the, the gallon tank that they've been swimming in. Look at that guy. Look how big he got. No, I gave you that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Rainbow shark right there. I did there. give you that one. Yeah. He gave you the black one. Look at this angelfish real quick. Big old angelfish. Wow, he's not happy. So long, brother. This is actually so cool because, and Nick, I'm sure it's cool for you too. Yeah. See all these fish out of the water. We haven't seen them in so long. Look how big that tiger barb is. Huge. And a little blowfish. Wow, he did get Look big. how big that iridescent is now. That's so cool. <laughs> it's insane. The crayfish is in here, the blue one. Look how beautiful that guy is. Beautiful. Yeah, it's insane. That's awesome. Look at this clear bin just full of exotic creatures. They're all colorful, all different sorts of colors. Can't really see it with the black background. Clown loach? Yeah. Look how big they got, dude. Incredible. Love those. My favorite fish inside this tank for sure. But these fish have just grown so much. They have outgrown that 90 gallon tank. Bring them into a 160 gallon tank is like a whole new life for all of these fish. And it's much clearer. It's actually see-through. You can see into the office. So all these fish are gonna like perk up so much more. I remember Look how thing. sick that thing is. That was in your tank. Yep. The albino and um, the what's it called were in my tank, remember? He is so fat. Those two were mine right here. Yeah. We had them in my grandma's tank. Both those. The big quarry. Wait, look at the colors on this Yep. Thing. Big quarry cat. Beautiful fish. How sick is this going to be following there? I cannot wait until they're in that 160. Just brightened up, see through. Woo! 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 Ow! Wait, we're going to the fish that just dropped. Oh my god. Ho oh ho! legend. You got the whole school. Now that this tank is going to be empty, no fish in it, I could bring it over to the house and when I up playing videos. I was going to do the house tour and I keep saying I'm going to do it. But I just wanted a lot more there. Like, there's not much there. It's just like yeah, furniture. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We're gonna make like, it. yeah. Let's wait on that. Let's put like the fish tanks in, like George's tank in my room, like all these different things I want to do before I make the house for video. I'm in no rush to make it. I actually want to make it better than something that's just like thrown up onto YouTube. You know what I mean? How you doing, Nick? But this is going to have George in it, so I'm gonna clean everything off, and then I'm gonna put this tank in. I'll buy no Corey. I love the scale look on them, like the scales. Yeah. Wow, it's literally a colorful bowl in here. All the fish are out, out of the 90 gallon. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll drain all the water out and get it ready for George. This has the water from this aquarium. As you can see, it lowered a little bit. I put it into here. Nick and I are gonna pick this up and put it in the back of my truck, tie it down. And then we are ready for these fish to go into the 160 gallon at the new cribbo. All right, buddies. Pull tight. And once we're good, we're all tight. All the fishes are inside and uh, we're set. You good, Nick? I think he's a little tired. All right, we have now pulled into the garage and all of our fish are right there. Look at them all. 
so awesome. I cannot wait until I get all these guys into the tank. All right, we've got this rock, which I, I think the, the albino crayfish is in it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> he is in it. Look how cool they are. They're doing really cool. I love them. I want to get more now that I have a bigger tank. Yeah, that's perfect. Just put it right there in the middle. That sand is very soft. I just love Nick. Looks amazing. We got a rock with a hole in it right there, and then another rock we just added right there. So, we're getting that, we're getting that. <laughs> so what we need to do now is acclimate all these fish that are in this tub right here. There's a lot of fish, very colorful in here, and uh, in order to do so, we need a tube that will run from the top of this tank down to there, letting the water in this tank slowly go into there, which then changes the temperature to about the same. Then we can transfer these fish into that tank. That is literally our goal right now. So yeah, you should sit here. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> All right, got our tube. It's super easy to siphon. All we gotta do is get one end, put it into the tank. Might get some water in my mouth, but at least this is clean tank. I've had to do it with like dirty turtle tanks and ugh. unless you have like a pump, you gotta do it with your mouth. Okay. Oh. There you go. Just like that. I didn't even have water in my mouth that time. It's a bit faster than I normally acclimate, so all you do is kink it like that, and then look. Get a rock and just pin that kink down. Yep, even that works. That's perfect. And uh, it's slowly going in. Once this fills up of about double what the water was, we'll be ready to put them in. I want to kind of stay away from the iridescence right now. Oh, I got one in my Dude, he got me good. Catfish have those fins, dude. Gnarly. All right, now the rest of these fish are good to just scoop and go. So we are just gonna scoop and go. Whoop. Look at that. All in, just like that. Yo, he's huge. I have had this thing for so long. Look at it. Look, look at how dope that is right there. I've had him for a while. Going in. Look at that. Sweet. Look at this bushel nose, Pleiko. Golly, did he grow. Same with this clown loach. Look how big that clown loach is. Insane. Woo. That thing is big. All right, all the fish are now in. Uh, you can already tell the difference on the amount of spaces these fish have to swim around. This current going this way, this bubble's coming up. They've just got so much more room. They're gonna be so much more happy. And uh, I'm actually gonna give it like 30 minutes to an hour. We're gonna watch a movie real quick and then come back to the tank and just see the difference. I'll hook all that in, get the light up here, give you guys a better look. There's a good amount of fish in there, perfect. This is so sick and I cannot wait to see how these fish are acting in about an hour when they're comfortable. So I guess I'm gonna catch up with you, with you then. Lights are out. The tank's a bit foggy because the fish obviously stirring through the sand, but holy moly, look at these things. Clown loaches, all sorts of stuff. Iridescent cats swimming around now. Look, I just love, Nick, what are your thoughts, man? Awesome. It's incredible. I mean, just let's give it five seconds. I'm gonna count down to five. Just sit here for five seconds looking at the tank. Ready? Silence. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that is insane how dope it came out. We now have fish in it. Look at the blue crayfish. Chilling inside the hole of the rock and that rock is perfectly placed. That is all I got for you today If you did go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to like this video the like button down below click that like button and also Subscribe to the channel join the family hit the subscribe button become a Kefaro. We are approaching on 1 million Super quickly and after hitting that subscribe button make sure you click the bell so you're notified every time I upload Here's our positive comment shout out and that goes out to Todd today. You are my favorite youtuber I hope you keep up the good work by the way, I think, I'm guessing he meant you, so I think you should get a Grino Iguana. I actually am in the works of working with Camp Kennan and other people like that with the reptiles. Once I get a fence around the whole property, start making like cool enclosures. Certain things like Rhino Iguanas, maybe a Tegu, just certain lizards that I've always wanted since I've been a little kid, but yet never had the land for it. Now that I have the land, I just need to make the enclosure. So eventually on this channel, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out. We're going to have so much cool stuff.